still don't know how Martina got the other one. Only Martina can make that stab volley on the backhand. This one she could not control. It just happened to go short. But on many of them, she can Play control. Lady. That she just wanted to get her racket on. 360 volley. And at that, Steffi almost got to it. Deuce. gets this, she'll be serving for the match. Heck of a shot. Martina did a good job to get a racket on this. Hits a tough angle. And with her court completely open, Graf made a pressure shot in this deuce. Great stuff. It's as, as good as it gets. Again, a great approach shot by Martina, very near the baseline. And Graf makes a heck of a forehand and watch Martina trying to drop volley. Boy, the quality of this match has been absolutely marvelous. 64 times the net for Martina, 16 for Steffi. the advantage. Missed it. Flushing Meadow Park. It's a unisphere that was part of the World's Fair back in 64 and 65. And the USTA's National Tennis Center. What a classic struggle between Steffi Groff, the number one seed, and the number two seed, and Martina Navratilova. You know, Pat, we talk about people having to lift their game in certain situations. I don't know how these two lift theirs any, anymore. You know, where do you go? The quality has been terrific. Martina had her just tiny little breakdown that last game, and we're talking about her getting nervous. I mean, she's a human being. But that just illustrates how well you have to play to stay with Groff, let alone beat her. Mind you, Steffi's not playing a lousy match no. herself. Not by any means. Too deep a ball there. She was too far back. You'll see where Martina makes contact here, just inside the baseline, just on the baseline, and that's too tough to come in from that deep. She couldn't get in and get set. Steffi had too much time. Second set. Clutch serving. 
Martina getting 72 percent of her first serves in. She did it beautifully there. She didn't have to worry about the second serve. Steffi's at 66 percent. Both very good. where Steffi's had trouble serving in this court. She served three doubles in this deuce court. forward to get it just as high as she could and got it very, very deep in the corner. Fifteen all. She takes a short ball and she realizes she got Martina in trouble and she comes on in to make the volley to finish the point off. It did tick the top of the net, but it was a wide open court. She is so very quick. They both are. Earlier this year, Groff has shown footage of her of herself three years ago, winning her first women's title, and she marveled at how patient she was. She said, I'm not like that at all anymore. She was, she was staying on the baseline. She said, I could never play that match again. The same way. She's used to dusting people off about two and one in 47 minutes. She had a big battle with Sabatini, and here she is in a real tough one with Martina. same spot. That's her fourth double fault. you'll ever see. That's the situation. Martina Navratilova won the first set 6-3. Steffi Graf leads in the second set 6-5, but Navratilova is serving. Steffi made a little equipment change. She changed her skirt out there. Put that one she has on around the other one and took the other one off. Makes you think she believes that this thing is going to go to three, doesn't it? Very discreet change. Few people in this huge stadium probably even noticed. Love 30. An opening now for Steffi Graf. Love 30. Watch the power. This about knocks Martina down. When Martina couldn't read at all. Love 30.
Look out here. This is where they've had trouble serving. Yep. Second serves in this court from that end. Both of them. This isn't coming through in this game. Steffi has taken that ball awfully early on the return, even on the first serve. Still two set points for Groff. Again, I think you're going to expect Steffi to try to step around, hit a forehand again. What will Martina try to do? Such precision. Thank, Thank you. you. And we now start the final set. And Groff will begin it serving. and 23 minutes to complete those first two sets. That one three-setter she lost was to her opponent. In a marvelous final a couple of years ago. Martinez isn't as good looking. of the cramps that plagued her towards the end of her Sabatini match, not if she's dancing around the court like that, all the way nearly off the court into the opposite alley to hit the off-forehand winner. And even under this pressure circumstances, Martina acknowledges that great forehand. She's got to do that. She's got to stay calm enough. Here's 30, all. 30, all. The, the psychology of this match has changed now, but Martina can't let it get her down. She's got to go back to set one somehow forget that set two happened. Good. Right on the line. 40, 30. And when it hits on that line being paint, it accelerates, skids through. Center has seen from the Fuji blimp. Cameron 
Marlon Van Herman laying up the top of the stadium. He's got courage. That's way up there, isn't it? He likes it. You know, I just hope that, that both players maintain this quality through this last set. I mean, it's, it's been just fantastic. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Three set matches. Draft leads 3 2. She won the last three of those, so I'm not so sure how meaningful that is in this situation. is available for Martina anytime she has courage to do it because you know Steffi's sliding to her left and wanting to hit four hands. So if she can kick it out the other way, it should be fairly successful. King there when Martina asked her earlier this year she thought she should should quit playing if she was done Billy said honey if I had your body I'd play 10 more years <laughs> I guess That was a, a, a fine effort by Martina. She didn't rush it. She didn't sort of snap at it. She really made a really good stroke at it. Just barely missed it wide. You think Martina's buddy Chris Everett is, is home sitting quietly on her couch watching this match? losing here playing in her last US Open to Zena Garrison Again, the last time they played was the final here in 1987 the last time Martina Navratilova won a Grand Slam event and she didn't lose a set that year the doubles and the mixed doubles too. Rare triple. This is just sheer power. Graf deep falling backwards. Able to knock it past Martina, who covers the net like a blanket and cover as well as anybody. Net. Set. 
Steffi Graf and Martina Davratilova both left court during that last court change. Steffi went to change shirts. She's back. Here comes Martina. She's got on a fresh one too. Right. You can get pretty clammy out there. As a matter of fact, there's a there's talk of having a changing room now out on the court for the women players. Someone has cooked up that idea. This tennis court is getting more and more crowded. There's so much stuff out there. Imagine owning the chairs as the box seats <laughs> behind that. That'd make them very happy. First set, Steffi the second. Steffi leads 2 1 in this final set. a little concentration on Martina's forehand volley. Here's another look. She does a good job here. And this just fools her completely. See Martina going the other way. Thought she's going to pull it down the line. 15 all. Nope. Grop just sends the message to Martina that pretty good looking volley is going to be replied to with an even better looking re re return passing shot like that boy she was hanging over that net again this is shades of Wimbledon in the Mart third set Martina against Groff Martina missed at the net Martina would like to have had that first volley back because it was high and she did not do very much with it right now 3-1 in this final set. Steffi just keeps hammering away. Oh. This is 
match game for Martina, really. She doesn't break here and get back on serve. She's down 4-1 in the final set. Martina did not miss the first couple of sets. But you got to keep the pressure on. You got to keep making good shots. You can't just get it back in play. If you do that, you'll just be watching it go by. That's right. 30 15. I think Martina will try to get in behind this return. sudden just a little bit of the precision is gone here's Martina can't tell whether she didn't look at it but she mishit it wrapped it around the frame and it's 40 15 Graf trying to go out to a 4 1 lead that's the backhand she tried last time in the deuce court she tried to Graf tried to surprise her by coming in on the serve Legacy L and the Toyota Camry DLX. Which one is championship between Steffi Graf and Martina Navratilova? Graf leads 4-1 in the final set. Earlier today, Boris Becker beat Aaron Krikstein to advance to the men's finals, which will be tomorrow here on CBS. Straight sets. He's going to have to serve better if he plays in the final to be successful. And we'll find out who he's going to play because that match is coming up next. Yvonne Lindell against Andre Agassi. That's the fifth double by Martina. First serve percentages, Martinez has dropped drastically in the third set. Too good, she said. And she's right. It's amazing how things change. The low return by Steffi. Defensive volley a little short. And the concluder by Graf. And it's now two break points. 1540. Curry just come in behind the second serve. Still break point. This would give Graf two big breaks in his final set if she can get this one. Good serving by Martina. Good clutch. Clutch serving. The bad news is she's only at deuce. Got more work to do. Didn't put it away. 
She had a shot at it, Martina, and just didn't get it far enough away from Groff. Even that second shot from Graf that was straight at Martina was dipping low, hard to handle. She missed it. That's what she tends to do, Martina. She tries to go for too good a volley, guides it around. And a little too flat on the forehand side, so it flies on you a little. So break point once again for Steffi Graf. She has just really started to incorporate in the last year into her own aggressive baseline game. All kind of craft on that volley as well. A good solid approach down the line and Chris Volley. So now the number one player in the world serving for the match. She lost the first set. One of second seven five. Looks as though Peter Groff is going to have to pay off yet more bets. She, he superstitiously bets against his kid in Grand Slam events. So many people come up to him and say, ah, oh, she's a lock, she's a lock, and he thinks that's bad luck. Ace number four. So he's two points from losing money. Drop is two points from making a lot of it. One more. Doesn't seem like long ago that Martina was holding up two fingers, saying, I only need two more games. She was up a set in 4 3. Martina threw her racket in total disgust. She was so close, just two games from winning her first Grand Slam in two years. But look at this. You have to give her an awful lot of credit. And her. Steffi Graf. Still number one. on his way down to the stadium court the masters of ceremony the presentation an ace for the championship first she had to get by cramps against Sabatini and then she had to get by a white hot Martina for nearly two sets Martina slammed the racket down. Right now, let's go to Tim Ryan. The women's champion, Steffi Graf, 
preparing for the presentation. She's allowed to do that, get the hair ready, collect the check and the trophy, and what a wonderful match Jeffy Drop uh, has given us here today as has Martina Navratilova. Disappointed, clearly. She had such a terrific first set that uh, everybody who is a tennis fan was happy that it went into three. But at the end, it was uh, the very strong and determined Steffi Graf raising her game just enough to take it away from Martina. Uh, just wonderful, wonderful tennis in this champion match. Now, championship match. We're going to be uh, coming next with the...